Hello everyone, Danny Garola here with Stamp in the Pink Barn coming to you from Tucson, Arizona. It has been such beautiful weather here, you guys. Oh my Lord. I was actually just talking to my mom yesterday. We um, had gone into town since she has surgery coming up tomorrow to have her knee replacement done. We went into town to get some last minute shopping done since Father's Day is coming up next weekend. My daughter's birthday is coming up next weekend. We're gonna be having my son's graduation party. And so um, it has been, we were just trying to get everything done because we knew that she had, uh, you know, this, she's gonna have some recovery time and not be able to get out and about very much. Hello, Marcia. So um, we were talking as we were driving into town and I told her, I said, I go, you know what is so crazy? This year, normally June is our hottest month here in Tucson, Arizona. It's normally ridiculous. We're over triple digits. And we have only had one day this year that hit it, that we've hit the triple digits. So um, yesterday it was like in the low 90s. It was just amazing. Today we um, didn't even hit 80. The high today was 86. It's like living back in Southern California where I grew up. So, well, grew up for the first few years of my life, but we go over to Southern California all the time and we always, you know, gloat about the weather over there, how pretty it is. And thank you, Marcia, for sharing. And so, um, yeah, it, it was just, it's just been so pleasant here. So I was telling her, I said, oh my gosh, I think I could learn to love Tucson. <laughs> because I always tell her, I'm like, oh, I, I want to move up north, like not north out of the state, but north Arizona, because it's so much cooler up there. They have such, um, they have all the four seasons. They have um, like pine trees. They've just got um, just that more kind of Oregon feel up, the, up north than um, we do down here because we are straight desert down here. So I told her, I said, I go, I could learn to love it here. <laughs> so we'll just keep our fingers crossed that it stays nice and cool like this for, you know, many more years to come. Now that does, you know, make me wonder how our monsoon season is going to be this year because typically what brings the monsoons here is that high heat. So we're, we're going to kind of be watching things and seeing how, um, how that goes. I'm not going to complain if this year that we don't have a good monsoon. Yes, we need the moisture because um, here in the desert, it's what, how things survive. But we have had a very, very wet um, spring and winter that I think we'd be okay through the summer if we didn't get bad, bad monsoons. And the only reason why I'm saying that is because my house that is getting ready to go on the market... Um, is in like a flood zone and so well i don't think they consider it that but i don't know our road turns into a river you guys have probably seen my videos throughout the years um of my road being a complete river and with us getting ready to put it on the market i was just telling the realtor i said i go i don't want anybody going down there and getting stuck i said only because of the fact that i still truly and dearly love my neighbors down there that i don't want my neighbors to have to clean up mess trying to get other people out because nobody else had four wheel drive but us on that road. I think the guy at the very, very end just bought a four wheel drive truck, but it's like brand new. He doesn't want to go out there and help everybody. So I was just kidding around with the kid. I go, maybe this year we'll, you know, just skip the monsoons and you guys can get my house sold. <laughs> Hello, Peggy. Hello, Laura. Welcome you guys. Thanks for coming in and watching. So yeah, just kind of funny. Um, and on that note, so yes, mom goes in tomorrow to have her knee replacement. She is super, super nervous, you guys. <laughs> I keep telling her, I'm like, you know, it's kind of funny. I'm even nervous. And isn't that goofy? Because I think when she just went in and had the heart procedure done, it just was like all so fast. I didn't really even have time to be nervous about it. But because we've been anticipating her having this knee surgery and I get it. A heart surgery is way more intense and more than a knee replacement. But thank you, Peggy, for sharing. 
but it's just like every time she goes to have this knee surgery, something else comes up and it always seems like it gets canceled. And the poor lady is walking around in the most extreme pain with her leg that there are times where she can't walk and we have to, you know, use a wheelchair or use one of those, you know, little motorized cart things for her to get around in. So I know she's looking so forward to having it done, but I think she's more nervous about the recovery than she is the actual surgery because she's going to be asleep during all that. She gets to take a big long nap, but I think it's um, knowing that she won't be able to, you know, go swimming like she's used to doing. He said it takes um, a couple of weeks before she can get out in the pool and then now she's going to have to be going into town twice a week to do physical therapy. Um, but, you know, it, it's going to go by in a flash and that's what I keep telling her. It's just... It's going to go by and you're going to be so thankful that you did. But then she knows that the other knee has to be replaced. So she goes, well, at least I know what I'll be looking forward to in the other leg. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda. Yeah, I, I know it's going to go fine. It's just all those things. Hello, Veronica. Hello, my dear. Nice to see you again. I know I can't wait for our next meetup. Hello, Miss Patty. It's been a while that I've seen you too. So yeah, there's just, you know, a lot going on, but you know, other than that, we are staying nice and cool and it, we haven't even been able to go out in the pool though. It's been so cool that, um, the other day we went to get in the pool. I think it was what Thursday when I did my coffee and cards over on YouTube, um, I told you guys I had my hair pulled up. We were ready to go in the pool. I had sunblock on and all that kind of stuff. And the pool didn't even get up over 80 degrees. And that's a little too chilly for me to get in there. And, uh, and then later that day, my dad was outside working in the yard and we had bees all come in and he got stung actually on the side of his face. So we had decided, okay, no pool, no swimming for us. Um, and it's kind of a, too cold to put my daughter through something like that to get in there and have that kind of a shock. Um, so we uh, haven't been enjoying the pool that much, but when we went into town yesterday, we bought one of those big blue, um, kind of a molded pool. 57 there, I thought I just saw somebody else say that it was 60 something where they were. Now that's, that's pretty chilly. Oh yeah, Marcia, 61 today in Wisconsin. That's awfully chilly, woo hoo. That's a little bit probably too cold for my summer weather. <laughs> but, uh, so we bought her one of those blue molded pools. So we have an Arizona room in the front of our house up here that we're going to fill it up and we have it all carpeted out there with some of the leftover carpet that we've used on um, the house. And so I have a piece of that laid down and we're going to put the pool and then I can fill some warmer water in it and then she can go out and enjoy it. And since the room is all screened in, she doesn't have to worry about critters and bees and all that kind of stuff. Hello, Miss Anna Rivadu. So yeah, 70s there. See, that's good. 70s are good. What did somebody else just say? Oh yeah, that was the 57. And Peggy is in... I think Michigan and you're in Michigan. Woohoo! Wow. Yeah, that's crazy. So how warm does it normally get in your summers where you're at? All of you, all of you who are watching, what are your normal highs for the summer? Well, I know there's a lot of you that are over towards, you know, central Eastern, um, that you guys have that humidity. Now that humidity is a bear. I could not stand the whole humidity thing. Like when I think about taking our daughter to um, Disney World in Florida, I get so turned off when I think about A, the bugs. I am not a fan of bugs. I, I am such a wuss when it comes to bugs. I freak out over bugs. And so hello, Karen. And the other thing is, is the humidity. I don't want to get out of the shower. See, there you go. 70s to 90s, yet the humidity is a killer. Yeah, see, right there. I can't, I can't handle that humidity. I don't, I don't like to sweat. So that's why normally here in the month of June, we hunker down, we stay in the nice air conditioning, or we go in the pool. 
Oh, see, there you go. Georgia 90 to 95 with that humidity. Yeah, nope. I just, oh, that humidity I'm telling you. When you get out of the shower and you feel like you're still in the shower, I've got a problem with that. <laughs> Preferred um, temps in the summer, 80s plus for more than a week, it's too much. Yeah. Mm. See, 80s, 80s, I think, are like the perfect, perfect um, summer heat. I think like upper 80s right around there is prime um now the weird thing is down here this summer and well this whole year we've had some crazy winds um the winds have i think that's probably the main contributor to us staying so cool are all these winds that we have coming through here so i mean i'm not a big fan of the winds because it likes to knock a lot of our plants over and destroy our leaves and stuff yeah, me too, Veronica. Definitely sticking with the dry heat. Yep, it, it's been, you know, it's been an amazing year this year. I, I do have to say this has probably been my most pleasant year being here. I think also my mindset has changed with now living right beside my mom. I think that has also been a huge um, turn for me. Because being down, I mean, and don't get me wrong, I was only three miles as the flow, the crow flies away from my mom, but we were, I think it was almost 10 miles, like driving wise, because you have to go up and around the roads. Um, but I think being up here, it has really changed my mind, because as we were driving home yesterday, normally when me and my mom would go out and we lived down at the other house, we would have to we would either be in her car or it'd be in my car and I would either have to drive her up here, take all of her stuff out of the car and then, ugh, and then think about, oh my gosh, I'm ready for a nap. I don't want to drive all the way home, but she did. Or we'd be, you know, she'd be in her car and we would, she would take me to my house, drop all my stuff off and then she had to drive home. And so it's just one of those things that, you know, you kind of think about, it is so nice that, now we both go to the same area. Hello, Frida. We both go to the same area now and we just unload the cars and we're, we're home together, you know, but have our separate living quarters. So that's kind of fun. All right, you guys, I'm going to get you guys flipped around. I have some super cute cards that I'm going to make for you guys tonight. Um, I'm sure you guys probably saw I made a graphic this morning to put on um, the Facebook pages so I could um, share with you what I am making today. Um, I even did something a little bit different today with uh, opening up and posting a blog post about the cards that I was making today. And uh, with that, hold on, let me go. There we go. Um, and so when I did that, I had made sure I posted on there and said that this blog post is not complete because after tonight's um, live that we do, I will then post pictures of the cards and the details for all the cards and all that kind of stuff. But at least gave um, people an option to go in there and see kind of a sneak peek of what we're going to be making tonight that's always kind of fun to do but others like it as a surprise so that's why it was kind of one of those things that if you don't go and look at it then you know you'll be surprised so I'm gonna get you guys flipped around we're going to get into the winners of last week's card and for those of you who shared um, there was a special little uh, stamp set that I was giving away this is called the peaceful moments this is for um, those of you last week who uh, shared my video, this was the giveaway for that. So we're going to get into that and then I'm going to show you what I'm giving away this week for those of you who share. 86 there in um, Oregon, Miss Frida. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're kind of in the same weather that we are. That's exactly what I had said. It hit 86 was our high here. So that's pretty incredible because normally you guys up there are quite a bit cooler than us here. So woohoo, we're enjoying this nice weather and you guys are enjoying the warmth. <laughs> so hold on, let me get you guys flipped around so we can get into all the fun that we have for today. So hold tight. Thank you, Patty, for sharing. Oh 
Okay, that looks good. Straighten this stuff up. Okay, so let's get to the giveaways. So last week we made these three Father's Day cards using the He's All That stamp and die set. And then I used the Let's Go Fishing designer series paper. It rained last week when we were not supposed to have any rain for at least 13 days. Well, you could always kind of send some of the rain this way. Please don't send me the monsoons like I was just talking about. Hello, Kay. Um, but uh, yeah, we, you know, you guys get a tremendous amount of rain up there. Down here, we're dry, so we always love the rain. So you could like blow it down this way. <laughs> My plants love it. Just monsoons are what caused the flooding for us. So I'm going to give away these two cards here. So we're going to do this for our giveaway. So let me grab my, um, let me grab my little notepad here that has all the winners. So for liking last week's video, this is going to go to Miss K Wire. And I know I just saw you pop in here, K. So, Kay, this is going to be coming your way. This is a great little card that you can give to um, someone for Father's Day. So, that one's going to go to you. Then, the next card, I did the Holy Smokes, You're Amazing. This one is that card that shows off both sides of that designer series paper. So, for commenting last week, this is going to go to Laura Ann. So, Laura, this is going to be coming your way. And then for sharing last week, so all you simply have to do is come in here, share this video. Um, now, you, if you're watching over on YouTube, I need you to come over to Facebook and share this video. You will have the full week to um, share it. I will be drawing the winner on the 19th and announcing that, so next Monday. So... Be sure when you share my video to make sure you comment, which will also put you in the drawing for commenting, um, that you have shared this video. Um, that is, there are some notifications that are on Facebook and it doesn't always let me see everyone who has shared. It just depends on privacies. So if you come in, it does tell me the amount of people, but it doesn't show me exactly who has done it all the time. So come in here, comment on this particular video and um, let me know that you've shared it and that's how you get entered into the giveaway for the um, prize that I'm giving away for the sharing. So this here, this is the Peaceful Moments. This is a cling stamp set. This is going to be going to Miss Peggy Frost Brandon. This is coming your way, Peggy. So congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much for helping me out, commenting, liking, sharing my video. I so appreciate all that you guys do for me to help me grow my business. Hello, mom. I was just talking about you. Hello, Sheila. Okay, so now for next week, so you guys know that I will be giving away two of the cards that I'm making tonight which I'm going to give you a sneaky peeky of those cards. So tonight's cards, hello, Linda. Um, so tonight's cards are going to be using my wonderful team leader. She has um, created this as her, um, her milestone or her million dollar sales achiever, Miss Kelly Atchison. She has created this friendship royalty stamp set and I have done these cards up to um, show you guys her wonderful wonderful set now remember that this is my weekly um, to go class so if you would like to have the papers cut pre-cut for you and um, have some of the uh, die cut little images well this doesn't have die cuts with it this is a standalone um, stamp set. So I will make sure I give you all the little scraps 
This little crown right here has been fussy cut, so I will make sure I give you a big enough piece for you to be able to stamp and do your embossing and all that kind of stuff. Same with the little um, Fresh Freesia little wand star up here. I will make sure I include all the scraps for you to create these cards. So all you simply have to do is go over into my store, shop Danny Garola, and make sure you put at least $35 worth of product in your cart. Now that is before shipping and taxes. And once you do that, you have to make sure that when you hit that cart button, it's gonna say right below um, your name, it's gonna say host code. Now, I've already done that work for you. If you go over to my blog and you find this um, class, the Friendship Royalty class, there is a link right there on the page that will already include my host code to um, your shopping. So you don't have to worry about remembering this, but if you're gonna do that all on your own, you can screenshot right now and take a photo of that. Um, so you have that. It's also going to be in the description of this video. And so how that works is you spend the $35 before shipping and taxes and I will send you all the die cut pieces along with the um, cardstock and the designer series paper that you're going to need to create these same cards. Now, that being said, you're going to have to fussy cut your own little thing. I will not include any of the embellishments, but I will include a strip of this ribbon um, and the like I said, the glimmery designer series paper that's on this card. Um, I cannot send everybody a wink of Stella, so that is something you're gonna have to add to your own um, card if that's what you choose to do. But other than that, I send you all the supplies, including the paper and the ribbon that you can make these cards for yourself. So just to let you know that, how that works. So the winner for next week for sharing this video, so hit that little share button for me and you're going to be entered in the drawing for this pack that is the Expressions in Ink Ephemera Pack. So this pack, these little things, it comes with a pack of, let's see if I can get this thing open. These are all little gold ephemera. I don't wanna pull it all the way out because otherwise I won't ever get it back in here. But as you can see, they're all laser die cut pieces of, there's some gold leaves in there. There's some little, um, other little uh, leaf images. There's some of these little uh, labels here. You've got this other piece right here that make beautiful little outlines for your designs. And it comes with a full little pack of the iridescent sequins. So that will be um, for those of you who share this video. Okay, so let me set that aside. And then we have a, are we still rolling here? Okay, my other device froze up here, there we go. Um, you guys are here with my um, free online stamping class. This is brought to you every Monday, unless, you know, life happens. Otherwise, I can't be there. But always know that it is 6 p.m. Pacific time, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern. <coughs> Mystery stamping <coughs> is coming up next week. I will be doing a Mystery Stamping Live this week on um, the 14th, so this coming up Wednesday, I will um, throw out all of the supplies that you guys are gonna need. They will be listed over on my blog under the mystery stamping tab um, for the month of June. Also, I will put it in the description of the event that I have posted here on Facebook. And so that will then go up on my Facebook page so you guys can see what um, you guys are going to need to be able to create um, this mystery stamping. So then once you grab your supplies, all you have to do is meet me here 6 p.m. Um, Pacific time on the 21st and we will sit down and we will make this card together you will then take a photo of the card that you have created using my layout that I show you, and you will go to my private group, which is Pink Barn Stampers Group, 
Um, if you're not a part of that, please go over there and um, ask to be a part of that. And as long as you have a photo and it is a legitimate um, Facebook page, I will let you into the group. So then you'll see at the end of the night on the 21st after our um, mystery stamping live that we do, I will post a photo of the actual card that I make. That's where you're going to go into the comments and add the cards that you guys make to get entered into the drawing for that. Right now I have my um, June card um, class to go. This is the countryside in card class. This is going to give you enough supplies to make eight cards. It's going to be two of each of the designs that you see here. Um, there is a tab over on my blog that says kit class if you click on that and scroll down through a few of the weekly classes that I have. Um, you can see all the details about this. This will be coming to, the registration will be coming to an end coming June 17th. So don't forget to register for this. The class is only $35. That's going to include a pack of the Knight of Navy ribbon. It's also going to give you the pack of pastels um, sequence. And then it's going to give you all those supplies to go ahead and make these, to make eight cards, two of each of these designs. So that is a fabulous way to get some really cool cards in your hands. Um, the only thing you're going to need to have to complete this is you're going to need the countryside in um, stamp set along with the dies and the countryside blossoms um, embossing folder. Now the embossing folder isn't something you have to necessarily have. You could use any embossing folder, but to make the cards that I have here, you're definitely going to want the countryside in um, stamp and die set. Right now we have a new paper pumpkin that has just come out. This is called Fun in the Sun. Um, it says, get tanning and crafting in the sun this summer. Say hello to summer and get crafting under the sun with this month's kit. The Fun in the Sun Paper Pumpkin Kit includes fun beach designs along with positive words of kindness you'll want to use and share with those you love all summer long. Take your cards to the next level with the fun summertime theme and accordion folds in this kit and send friends and loved ones uplifting cards to support, encourage, say hello, and more. So with this, it's going to give you all the supplies you need to create nine cards, three each of three designs, and nine coordinating envelopes. Um, you're gonna get an all occasional, or an all occasion stamp set to support and encourage those loved ones. A pearl essence, um, backed sequences and some summertime ephemera pack, pre-cut die cuts, and one Daffodil Delight Stampin' Spot. So one of the amazing things and awesome where I always tell you guys about the paper pumpkin is this is wonderful if you want to start getting a head start on your ink collection. You're going to get an, a, it's called an ink spot, which is our um, ink that we have through Stampin' Up. And they're little and they're portable and they're wonderful to have. Every month you're going to get a different color. So it's a great way to start your collection of ink pads to start crafting. You're going to get an exclusive stamp pad or a stamp set in this that you're not going to be able to get anywhere else. So you can read more about this. There is a just the um, description in this video that you can click on. So for this month, we have our designer series paper. This is um, a sale that runs just through the end of the month through the 30th. This is going to give you 15% off select papers that we have. So it is a great time if you've been looking at a couple of those papers or you were a part of my paper share and you got this paper in hand and you really fell in love with certain ones, grab it now, now while you can. It's also a great way to get this kit um, that I am doing tonight because all you simply have to do is spend $35 and um, you will get the card kit for this week. <clears throat> 
The month of June is also a wonderful time to join my team, become a part of the Pink Stampers group, and you, <coughs> oh, excuse me. Not only do you get to become a part of something that is wonderful and fun, but you also get a free paper pumpkin in your starter kit. You also get to pick $155 worth of product of your choice, of you pick whatever you want in your starter kit. You just cannot go over $155 with that. So really kind of pick and choose what you want. You can use any of our current catalog products. You can use our online exclusive items. You can even use those items out of the clearance rack if you wish um, to place inside of your starter kit. Like I said, just don't go over $155 and you're only gonna pay $99. That's gonna include your shipping as well. You're gonna get a free paper pumpkin in there. You're gonna get, I think it's either eight or 10 of our new catalogs in there so you can share with your family and friends and let them know that they can shop with you. Once you place your first demonstrator's order and you get to take advantage of your discount that you have qualified for now as being a demonstrator and being on my team, you are going to also get a subscription to the Stamp Happy Academy um, website as well. And that's super fun. You guys can go check that out and see um, what that's all about to see what you're going to get a free subscription for if you join my team. Okay, that is all of our business for today. Um, I also wanted to show you that this is the paper that I am using on this card right here. This is called the Bright and Beautiful. This is part of that um, birth, our beautiful balloons. Ooh, I didn't do a very good job of gluing some of these down. But this is a part of that beautiful balloons um, sweet set. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. It's got some amazing colors in this. You've got Azure Afternoon, which is one of those returning colors um, or refreshed colors. You've got Berry Burst, Blueberry Bushel, Bubble Bath, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Misty Moonlight, and Pre Peacock. Those are all of our refresh colors for this year that they have put in this gorgeous paper. I am loving this paper with so many different things. When I went um, a couple Mondays ago, when I went down to our um, demonstrator or Arizona meetup, um, I actually made a card using this paper and that beautiful balloon set. It is a really, really fun and colorful set. That balloon set, I'm actually going to be using the dies in this card as well. That's what this little star die cut is from. I've just paired it with this stamp set because I could fussy cut this, but if I have a die, why not use it, right? Okay, so just to show you that beautiful paper, all right, so now let's get to showing you this is that friendship royalty. Like I said, this is Miss Kelly Atchison's um, million dollar uh, sales achievement stamp set that she has created. And it is so stinking cute. It is so girly. Uh, and if you guys know who Kelly is, you guys <laughs> have seen that she always wears a crown during her Facebook lives. And so this suits her to the T. Okay, so I wanted to share that today with you guys. I'm also going to be sharing, this is that new designer series paper. It's called More Dazzle. These are six by six. It comes in the two different colors. It comes in the champagne. You're gonna get eight um, pieces. So you're gonna get four of each color. And there's the gold. This has the most gorgeous sparkly to it. It is wonderful paper to have. So I'm gonna be using that on a card as well. <clears throat> okay, let's get all my card bases out here. So this is kind of what your kit is gonna look like when um, you purchase that $35 you, and use my host code. You must use the host code in order to qualify for the kit. So this is what it's gonna look like when it comes to you. It's gonna be each 
individual card will be put in its own envelope. So you know that those pieces go with that particular card. So nothing gets all jumbled and missing. Okay, so my first base, this is the Berry Burst. This is 11 by four and a quarter. We need to score this. at five and a half, and I will make sure that this is scored for you. Um, because it's so long, it won't fit in my envelopes to mail to you, so I will probably actually even have it folded for you um, just to make sure it's going to fit in your envelope. But um, I really like this fold. It really gives this some, um, just a unique little fold, especially if you're giving this to a young one. Okay, so there is our card base. Our next color is uh, Bubble Bath. And this is one of those new colors that are coming, that have come to us. Then I'm using a piece of that Dazzles and More. Now you will find all the dimensions when I'm done here. I will put those up on the blog um, so you guys can see the dimensions of all of these projects that I'm using. Um, or pieces that I'm using for this project. There's that dazzling, and then I need a piece of my, this is a piece of basic white. So let me set my card over here so I make sure I get it exactly the way that I had it. Um, for this, I'm going to need my stamp and seal because I'm going to be gluing this basic white to this um, dazzled paper. And because it has a texture to it, I need to make sure that's going to stick and it seems to do a better job if I use the seal. We're going to we're going to see if that works because yesterday when I glued this down it was lifting. Oh, well no, it it stayed. Um I it just gave me it took me a minute to hold it down because I had used the um multi-purpose glue. So it did it did it here. So that's good to know. So I'm going to try it with the seal and see if that's um any better trying it that way. I'm also going to need my Versamark because we're going to be doing some um, heat embossing with this. Um, let me grab my stamp pads and my all my clear blocks that I need here and my inks. We're going to need the Berry Burst ink for this one. I'm also going to be using the, uh, where are they at? I am going to be bringing in the pastel adhesive backed sequins. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna turn my fan off over here because we're using embossing powder. If I have my fan on, I will be literally wearing embossing powder and that just doesn't sound like that'd be very fun. Now, if we were talking about glitter, I might be okay with that, but we're not. We are talking about embossing powder and that is not fun to have all over yourself okay so let me get my this is my scrap piece of paper stuck over one of our stamp and piercing mats and i just use that to have a little bit of cushion because since this stamp set is photopolymer it's always um, suggested that you have a cushion underneath it um, it will just help your ink absorb into your paper and get a better contact on all the points of your stamp. Okay, so what I need to do first is I need to bring in my um, bubble bath. I keep wanting to call it bubble gum, and I know that's not right, but in my brain, it looks like bubble gum. <laughs> okay, so I am using the little swirly swish and I'm going to be using the star for this portion. So I'm going to need my Versamark. I'm gonna set that aside. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to grab my little embossing buddy here and just rub this over that. So if I've touched it with any oily fingers, it will make sure that um, I don't leave any residue on my card. And I'm just going to randomly stamp this on here. Now 
Now I think I'm just going to place it on here four times because then that'll leave enough space for me to add my little stars. So we will um, not really see the magic of this until we do our embossing powder. So let me make sure that I grabbed, oops, I grabbed gold. Hold on, I need to grab silver. Okay, I need silver instead. I mean, gold would work, but I really wanted to use gold on this. Okay, I think I'm going to do this one more time right here. Hello, Mary. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit right there and then I'm gonna add the tail right there. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid back on that so I don't have any mishaps with that since we're gonna be running the heat tool on this. So I have my heat tool. I'm going to make sure that I turn it. You can turn it to the first one and then to the second one. So I'm gonna use the second setting here. And then I'm just gonna hold this on here and you will start to see that powder melt and really get a gorgeous silver shine to it. Flip this over so I can get this side so I don't burn my fingers because this heat tool does get very warm. Okay, I'm going to call that good. Now the heat gun is going to get a major workout today because pretty much... Um, all but one of these cards is going to be using embossing um, powder on it. So I'm definitely giving her a run for her money. All right, now I'm going to grab the Berry Burst. And just again, kind of just randomly stamping. Now I love, love, love these colors together. The Berry Burst on that bubble bath is just so gorgeous. Now I'm just adding these in some of these blank spots here and you may not even see because we are going to be adding this. So instead of continually going, you can just kind of see your placement where you need it like that. I should have done that one just a little bit higher. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna stamp over the top of that one just like that because Nobody's gonna see that one underneath, so it's okay. That way you can see some of those berry bursts and it just kind of, you pretty much just made your own designer series paper for the background of this card. All right, so now I'm going to adhere those two pieces together and I can use my regular glue since this has a um, flat back to it and it doesn't have any texture so just watching all four of my sides there now my daughter's uh, 14th birthday is coming up 
this, um, I think it's actually on um, Monday the 19th. And so uh, this card is gonna be perfect for her. Okay, so there is that. Then I'm gonna be taking this little white piece and I need to grab my crown and my gold embossing powder again. Um, let's grab our crown and I'm using the big crown. There are two different sized crowns on here. You have a smaller one and a larger one. So I'm just gonna use that large one. Now I need to use my little embossing buddy, clean this off since we are adding some Versamark to this. And I'm gonna stamp this towards the top like that. Okay, get that powder on there just like that. I think I'm gonna do it one more time just to make sure it's a little bit thicker. There we go. Get all those little fine lines. Grab the heat gun again. Were you guys yelling at me that I left my lid off of my Versamark? You guys know how I'm always telling you guys to make sure you put your lid on your Versamark before you open up your powder because it can be disastrous if you open that lid up and any of that powder gets on here because you're not getting it off. So I did a big no-no. So I'm sure you guys were probably sitting there saying, no, stop, don't, yet, no. <laughs> Okay, now I am going to, we're gonna stamp in that very burst again. We're gonna go ahead and do our sentiment. And I'm going to use the To the Birthday Queen. And I'm gonna place this right down below here. Just like that. Okay, then we're going to add our embellishments to this and then get that put on here. So I think I'm gonna get it all together first. that over making sure that I get that all pressed down nicely and I got some goo on there so let me grab my little adhesive remover and get all that off of there just like that okay I'm gonna grab these now this is where you've got decisions you could either put some of those gold ones on there and that'd be very pretty but I really liked the pink on there 
So I'm going to grab my take your pick tool and I'm just gonna simply come in here and grab these and I'm gonna place these right up here on the top of this crown. And I am using the smaller size sequence for this because you get two packages of these sequins. You get the large size and you get the smaller ones. I thought if I did the large ones, it would kind of take up too much of our little beautiful crown here. Okay, let's get this adhered to our card front. Okay, just like that, and there is our card. Let's do something to the inside of this to make it pretty also. Let's see. Maybe we can add some of these stars There you go. Absolutely, Peggy. Aren't these so perfect for you? Uh-huh. See, I had you in mind. <laughs> Not really, because I didn't know that you were called Aunt Queenie, but... Oh, you call her Queenie, your niece. Yep, this would be perfect for her. Okay, I'm just gonna do that up the side there. And where is your friendship is royalty or you were born to be fabulous, not perfect. I love that because we don't need to be giving any of our little people in our lives to make them think that they have to be perfect for them to be loved and beautiful. Everybody is beautiful in their own way and that's just the way it is and that does not mean that there has to be perfection. Okay, there is the inside of our card. Give that a second to dry since that's kind of wet and I can clean up a little bit of this since this card will be done and we can get to the next one. Isn't that so sparkly and shiny? Oh, there's so many different elements of sparkle on this card. I just love it. It is definitely a princess card or a queen. Okay, and there's the inside of our card to tie everything together and just a glorious, beautiful, blingy. Everybody needs some bling in their life, trust me. <laughs> okay, so there is card number one. Okay, let me move some stuff around so we can get down to business with card number two. Okay. 
Okay, card number two. Let's do let's do this one. Okay, let me grab my bases. And all the stuff we need for this. This is the one where I am using the bright and beautiful designer series paper. And I need my fan back on because I'm dying here. And I am using um, this one right down here. So the back side has like an ombre effect to it. So if you see this, these little tiny squares don't really do it justice. But see how it has this layering of ombre on it? That's what the back side of that paper has. So let's get to it. All right, so my card base is Gorgeous Grape. <clears throat> We're gonna fold this in half. This is eight and a half by five and a half, and when we fold it in half, this makes it four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, there's our base. It's going to go landscape style. Our next piece is our designer series paper. And like I said, the back side, ooh, see, I've got the powder everywhere. Ooh. The back side is that ombre effect to it. So that I just thought paired so well with this gorgeous grape with these different colors in here. Now it is um, Fresh Freesia. I believe it's Fresh Freesia and Bubble Bath are these two colors on here, but I'm pairing it with Gorgeous Grape because I just think it looks really well with that. Okay, the next piece that we're going to need is we're going to need a strip of that gorgeous grape. And then I have taken another piece of this designer series paper. It's this one right here. And I'm using this side right here to um, use more of a solid print. And that is an eighth of an inch smaller. Like I said, all the dimensions will be on the blog. Writing all that stuff on the blog gives me something to do while I have to wait for this video to upload on YouTube. Okay, there's that. That strip is going to go kind of towards the top. So it's not going to be centered. It's going to be kind of off-centered towards the top of that. Okay, then our next piece, I've got some scraps here. I've got a scrap of fresh freesia that we're gonna need for the little star, for the little wand. I have a um, little piece of white, ouch, for, almost knocked everything over, for my little wand um, handle. And then I have a, another strip of Gorgeous Grape. I have a strip of white. Those are gonna be for my sentiment. Um, this is going to be my main focal piece. And then that's going to be the layer for my focal piece. Okay, so let's get these stamped. Move this aside. This one right here, we're going to be using the smaller of the two um, of the crowns. So let me get the smaller crown out. There's the smaller crown and I need my Fresh Freesia ink. And this is going to get 
stamped towards the top. Watching both of my sides. Just like that. It's very kind of subtle, but we'll put some embellishments on there to kind of bling that up. Um, we're also going to use the, um, I need my, like I said, I was bringing in the uh, beautiful balloons dies for my star because I don't like to fussy cut. And like I said, if I have a die that cuts out any shape, then I'm absolutely going to utilize that. If you don't have a little star die, you're going to definitely um, need to fussy cut this out. But I'm just going to do it like this really quick. So I'm using the mini. This is a limited time, this uh, boho blue mini. I'm just going to run this star through here. and that piece is still stuck in there. So I can either try to toss that a couple of times, which isn't working. So you're gonna need something with a sharp point on it and my take your pick tool is awesome for that. There's my little star. I need this star back and I need the gorgeous grape since I just cut that out with fresh freesia. Now I like to have a piece of white. Well, I need my piece over here. So you can see, oops, as I just hit the camera with my big head. So you can kind of see the outline of that star to make sure you line it up on there, just like that. And then while we have that grape out, let's stamp the wand. Now the wand is one of those things that we're gonna have to fussy cut, but good thing it's kind of a little solid line, so we're all good. Where did my little scrap go? Okay, just like that. Then we need to do our sentiment on that little white strip that I have right here that's hiding. Set that there. And I think on this one, we're gonna do that same to the birthday queen, just because I love the font. And I am doing that in the gorgeous grape. And I'm going to do it right there. Okay, close this ink so I don't make a mess. Okay, now we can start putting things together, cutting things up here. So I'm going to grab this little wand piece and just cut this out. Okay, there's that, that's gonna go with that and then this little piece right here, we're going to add a flag to it. So I'm just gonna cut through the center and take my scissors and cut a flag. Now, what you can do is you can take this and you can, well, if I can do it correctly, hold it like that. You can flag that 
if you can get your hands in there without messing everything up. But see, I gotta do it the other way. If you hold this, if your hands will co cooperate, you can hold it just like that on the other side to make sure that you're flagging that evenly. Right to the center. And then your flag will turn out perfect. Maybe not perfect, but darn near perfect. Like I said, nothing in life is perfect. So we need to make sure we don't ever leave that on anybody. Okay, so we're gonna take this little white piece and we're gonna now put that on the gorgeous grape, leaving an eighth of an inch around that. Okay, this is now going to go on here, leaving an eighth of an inch. And I will cut that flag part out once I get this glued on here. just has to do with us putting this together. So I'm gonna glue this straight down. Right like that. Now it's only going to the ends of my designer series paper. This piece is going to get glue, or no, we're gonna pop that up. So I've got my end of my dimensional here that we're gonna utilize all these extra bits. Okay, take these off. And we're gonna pop that up just like that. Okay, this one, we're just gonna put a dimensional on the end to hold this little flap up so it has some stability. And then we're gonna put glue down here. Okay, and that is gonna go right like that. Okay. Then we've got our little wand, just like that. And we'll put that like that, there we go. All right, let's glue these down. Now, I don't think I brought my Wink Estella over, but I think my mom has one sitting right here. So I think I'm just gonna grab hers. So there's that. So let me grab the, yep, that's it. Okay, um, let me grab the little pig to clean up some of these. So it's gonna get loud, hold for two seconds. Um, let's grab the embellishments that I'm going to need for this. They are the, where are they? 
I am using the Glossy Dots Assortments. Now these are the Gorgeous Grape and those are the ones that I'm going to use on this. Let's grab our Wink of Stella, get her a moving, and I'm just going to place that all over that star. Giving it some shimmer, like it is definitely a magic wand. that Glinda the Good Witch had, or the Fairy Godmother. All right, so I'm going to take this on here so I don't stab myself. I'm going to take the little one and put it right here in the center and then take some of that medium ones and put on there and on there voila and there is our finished card we got to do the inside though so maybe we're not quite so finished i was getting ahead of myself there let's grab a white yes isn't that pretty I just love it. Okay, I have a little strip of that same coordinating paper there that I'm just gonna run across this. To kind of tie all that together. Okay. And then we can grab the um, to the birthday queen, um, 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 I think we're going to do that same inside. You were born to be fabulous, not perfect, because I really like that. And we're going to do that in the gorgeous grape. just like that and then I'm going to take and put this away and I'm going to grab that fresh freesia again and I have there is a little like asterisk star thing up here that I am going to add to this but I'm going to do it in the fresh freesia like that because then that really kind of makes that all tie together with all of our colors okay let's glue that together well I am glad you guys are loving these they are so fun and they are so me the little princessy like little things. I love pink and I'm loving the purples and okay there is card number two. All right so and then we're gonna get down to this last card here. This is where it's probably why I chose it to be the last one because I have to fussy cut. <laughs> so I'm gonna fussy cut this little crown and we're going to get all that together. So let me grab my last card base here. And we've got a couple of different rhinestones that are going to go on this one. So this one is going to use the, um, the new, this is called the Adhesive Fact Sequence Trio. So I'm going to use these pink ones down here. And then I'm going to use some of the rhinestone basic jewels. Very glam and sparkly. All right, this is the Azure Afternoon, is this color, eight and a half by four and a half, or five and a half. We're going to fold it in half for our card base. OK, 
Okay, there's our base. Then we have bubble bath. Not bubble gum, bubble bath. Okay, I need my Versamark again. And we need that little swirly bit. Okay, let's grab this. Versamark, turn the fan off since we're gonna be doing with powder. Okay, we're gonna turn this one coming down towards the center of our bubble bath. And then we're gonna do it again, but we're gonna go up towards the center. Just like that. Close my Versamark. And I forgot to use, see, if I don't forget one thing, I forget the other. I forgot to run this on there. So we will hope that this turns out okay and none of my finger spots got on it otherwise we'll have to flip it over and use the other side which is no biggie oh I think it turned out okay all right we are golden or silver no gold, no gold in today's show. Besides our dazzling paper is kind of gold, but it's called champagne. that so that's going to get set right there then we need to get this off of here make a mess then I'm going to need the white powder and my piece of this is berry burst it's just a little scrap that I have and I am going to run this on here because I'm thinking this time. <laughs> Doesn't happen very often, but every once in a while I think. Okay, this is going to come off. We need that little crown. Okay, where's some mark? This time we're going to use white embossing powder on this. Okay. Put the lid on, see, still thinking. <laughs> still using my brain. You too, Laura, thanks for coming in. Okay, there's our white. Have a great night. Okay, again, we're going to use the heat gun. I gotta flip this around because that was getting hot towards my fingers. Okay, there is that. Okay, give that a second to cool off because that paper is still pretty warm. Okay, I need to, well, we're gonna let that sit there. 
Here is my little strip of azure. I am going to take, this is a trio of our ribbon that we have. And um, this comes in Azure Afternoon. It comes in Lemon Lolly and Bubble Bath. So I'm going to use just a strip of the Bubble Bath. Okay. And this has a really pretty silver little lining on the outside of it. It is so shimmery and pretty. So we are going to place this right on the middle of this piece here. And I am going to tape that. Okay, and do the same thing on the other side. Let's not twist it. Make sure it's straight now. Okay, there we go. Very nice. So we can go ahead and adhere some of these things down. can take this and do the same thing but I'm going to actually come back in with my seal and I'm just going to place this kind of just eyeballing it right in the center to cover those two swishes you're just going to catch those two tails in there <clears throat> like that. Now comes the also loved part of fussy cutting. So I'm just staying about an eighth of an inch from that uh, part, the outline of the stamped image and just kind of going around each one of the little loop-de-loops here. Sorry, I become very, very quiet when I'm fussy cutting. I have to concentrate. And I can't talk and concentrate. It's like walking and chewing bubblegum. I mean, I can do that, but that commercial was a commercial for the longest time that said that you couldn't walk and chew bubblegum. And it just didn't make any sense to me. But as I'm getting older, I understand the focus issue. All right, there is our cute little crown. Now we're gonna kind of dress that up a little bit, but before I put that on here, I want to stamp. I'm gonna say, thanks for fixing my crown. I guess I don't need that one here. 
Okay, I did need my berry burst. I think it's back, yep, at the bottom of my box. Okay, we're gonna just stamp that right there. Okay, let's close this up. Now let's get out my um, two different, did I already bring them out? I did, I did, I did. Okay, let's bring these over here. Now we are going to pop this up. So let me grab some of my dimensionals. <clears throat> I'm gonna use this little corner piece for right up here. Oh, so I forgot to tell you guys, my parents are super, super stoked. They got a offer on their house that they have for sale. So yay them, super exciting. Okay, I'm gonna place this now, hopefully ourselves. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing that and then I'm gonna take these basic rhinestones here and I'm gonna use the biggest one and place it right in the center here. Then I'm gonna take um, two of these medium ones. That one's gonna go there, that one's gonna go there. And then two of the tiny ones go right there. And right there, beautiful. Shimmery. Okay, then we're gonna open these up. <clears throat> and I'm gonna place some of these on here. I'm gonna do a big one right there. And a little one right there. And then another little one right down here. Kind of glam that all up with some different kind of textures and sequins there. It's kind of neat to do two different kind of sequences. It kind of really grabs your eye. All right, get those put away. Then we need to do the inside of this. So let me grab my inside again. Okay, and we are going to put this on here. And I think this time I'm going to use that, your friendship royalty, because we're saying thank you for fixing my crown. And because you did that, you're now friendship, your friendship royalty. So let's add, Here's this. Put that right across the center there. Okay, and then what else are we gonna do? I think I might, well, I didn't bring the other ones over here. I'm gonna take this little crown down here at the bottom and just kind of place it. I think I'm gonna go this way. Not doing the full length of it, but then taking the little star, coming in and adding that right to the bottom of that. There we go. 
And then we can always add a little bit of wink to that to give that some shimmer. Okay, let me grab that wink again. Where did I put it? There it is. Nope, that's not it. Oh, it's not even open yet. Um, there it is. Okay, close this. Add some wink. And a little bit of shimmer, okay. Now we're gonna add this to the inside. Then we can move, give that a couple seconds to dry there while I move some of this stuff around. This little guy. I'm gonna put some tape on the end of that to hold that, because otherwise it is gonna go everywhere. Okay, there we go. All right, I think that wink has dried. So there is that card with all that shimmer and shine. And then there's the inside of that. So this one's more of a thank you card. And the other two that we created were more of birthday cards. So let me move my mess. And then I can bring in all three of these cards to show those to you. There's that one, and there's that one. So there was the first one that we did with all that magical bling on there, and then there's the inside. Then we did this gorgeous grape, all about the purples. There's the inside of that one. And then the azure with that bubble bath. And fussy cut that crown. And there's the inside of that. So I hope you guys enjoyed these cards and really got to see what this set is all about. Now, just remember, this is just a stamp set. Granted, I have used one die on that little star, but you could absolutely fussy cut that. They're straight edges, it wouldn't be hard to do. But how wonderful is that to get such gorgeous cards out of a stamp set and you don't have to worry about how in, having dies. Because as you can see, I fussy cut this, I fussy cut that, so I didn't wanna bring a bunch of dies in to um, kind of take away from a stamp set that you can get some really beautiful cards out of and really be creative with to um, not have to spend a lot of money on a lot of product, that you can simply use a stamp set and really have fun with it and be creative with it to come up with some really gorgeous cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed these. I enjoyed coming up with these projects for you guys. I always love bringing things to you and sharing them so you guys can kind of get a spark of your creativity and how cute are these? They're just so darling. I love them. They just, oh, they're just so girly and I love it. <laughs> just so up my alley right there. All right, you guys, thank you so much for coming in here and spending your evening with me. I will get the blog um, written up so you guys have dimensions of this because you may already have this stamp set and now you want to go play. Um, and so you guys can have the dimensions to go make these beautiful cards. Hello, Miss Melanie. So I will see you guys on Thursday for coffee and cards. Um, I will post the uh, mystery stamping um, supplies that you guys will need for this coming up mystery stamping. I will uh, post those on the uh, 14th. And so... You guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Be safe out there and I will see you soon. All right, you guys, bye-bye.